Well, today we'll be discussing the benefits of GMOs. GMOs are a highly controversial topic in our society today. Some people say all of them are unhealthy. Others know that the company Monsanto has done some pretty shady things in the past. Thus, people frequently throw the baby out with the bathwater. It would be like an atheist not wanting anything to do with Christianity because the only person he has seen is Kenneth Copeland, and Copeland doesn't accurately represent Christianity. My purpose will be to show that GMOs are good overall. I hope to discuss how GMOs have helped with vitamin A deficiencies and have actually helped children who would otherwise be born blind or were born blind but have now received eyesight. So this is, a, this is a valuable claim. It's a claim of value. There are no GMOs as of right now that are considered unhealthy. Some GMOs infuse vitamins into fruits and vegetables, which can help other countries that may be deficient in certain vitamins. We should all support the use of GMOs. Since no GMOs are considered unhealthy at this moment, we can conclude that GMOs are good. They are good because they have and can help people. I hope to show that this claim measures up by the evidence I will provide from other important sources. Now this is something um, that you should consider if you're an executive at an organic store like Sprouts or maybe if you're an employee at Sprouts. Um, GMOs are frequently used to benefit the consumer as well as the provider. What do I mean by that? Well not only are genetically modified fruits and vegetables cheaper, but also they can have health benefits that the original food might not contain. Foods have the potential to be designed in such a way that they are chocked full of vitamins. For example, golden rice is a GMO that is pumped full of vitamin A and is designed to help countries with the epidemic of vitamin A deficiencies. Golden rice could be a huge step towards solving the vitamin A epidemic in countries like India and Africa. Currently, this rice has not been introduced to any country. I'm not sure why this is or what the holdup is to that. We know that this rice will be beneficial because there were genetically modified bananas in that helped with deficiencies in Uganda. We will consider this further in the presentation. Many people discuss the benefits of GMOs because a company oh, dismiss, they dismiss the benefits of GMOs because there's a company known as Monsanto and it's one of the, the main sources for GMO products. They have done things like spray Roundup all over the crops, causing people to get cancer. Now, this event is a serious tragedy. I'm not negating that. Monsanto is not a company to be trusted, and I am not promoting them as a company whatsoever. However, it is important not to throw out the benefits of GMOs because Monsanto is a wicked and shady company. There's a, a CBS News report uh, they reported a lawsuit that an older couple won due to uh, Monsanto's irresponsible spraying of Roundup in, on their crops. This couple was furious, and because of Monsanto, they will have fewer years on this earth. There's a quote I would like to read from um, CBS News. <clears throat> a jury in Oakland, California, has awarded a couple $2 billion in punitive damage after concluding that sustained exposure to Monsanto's companies popular Roundup weed killer led to their cancer diagnosis. So as I mentioned before, this is a serious tragedy, but just because Monsanto sprayed this killer product on their crops, this does not mean that all GMOs are bad. We do not want to negate the reality that Monsanto is essentially crooked crop growers, but this should not make us blind uh, to the help that GMOs have brought to help with vitamin A deficiencies. In an article titled, GMO crops. In a title, GMO in a title article in an article titled "GMO Crops Could Save Lives: Tackling Vitamin A Deficiency in Africa" by Harry Sherman, we note that Sherman, who is a scientist, has done many studies on the topic of GMOs. Sherman states, "GMOs or genetically modified organisms are organisms that." Unlike people such as the food babe or those over at the big organic lobby would like you to think are not harmful to humans. So this is a quote from a scientist who has done extensive research on the benefits of GMOs. He endeavors to show that the benefits of GMOs uh, reveals the real reason why organic 
companies oppose GMOs. In this article, Sherman exposes the false claim that GMOs are bad for human consumption. In fact, he goes on to explain that many GMOs are very beneficial. Many of the claims that organic companies make against GMOs are not scientific. Rather, they are only looking out for themselves. They only want their company to thrive. It is not entirely based around care for human health and livelihood. The reasoning for organic companies to want everyone to believe that GMOs are bad is for money, and so that they will stay in business. Organic food is good and has its place, but it's not as black and white as people lead us to believe. It is not as though all GMOs are bad and organic is good. Ultimately, both have their place. What might be good for one human being is bad for another. For example, whether or not a tomato is organic or it's genetically modified, tomatoes are bad for me. That's an objective statement on my part. I have a condition called interstitial cystitis, so any tomato is bad for me because I can't eat anything acidic without my body feeling like it's on fire. So again, the problem is not in the genetically modified crop. It might be in the substance itself. Everyone is different. I will admit that there are so many different GMOs. Uh, there may be a GMO out there that is not healthy for humans, but at this time, there has been zero conclusive evidence to say that GMOs as a whole are bad. I would say if anyone does say that, they have either lacked in their research or they're just flat out lying. Both cases are very plausible, but as I said before, GMOs have had a great impact and have helped other countries. Vitamin A deficiency is a serious problem in Uganda. But thanks to GMOs, many children are doing way better than they were before this GMO was introduced to the public. Now, there's a, an important quote from Harry Sherman, the scientist that we've referred to before. It says, vitamin A deficiency, otherwise known as VAD, is a major public health problem in the developing world. It affects 190 million children under five years old, particularly in the Sub-Saharan Africa and Southeast Asia. Sherman shows from an article by the World Health Organization, a credible source, that these bananas were genetically modified to have vitamin A greatly helped a multitude of children who were born with vitamin A deficiencies. Here I got this bag of rice. Um, this is symbolic of the, the help that the, the golden rice we were discussing and the bananas um, that we've been discussing helps with uh, with uh, human consumption, it helps with the vitamin A deficiency. So I just uh, pray that you would support uh, the the GMOs that are in in rice and bananas, all these GMOs that have been used to to help others. <clears throat> the the VAD causes blindness. The the vitamin A deficiency causes blindness in many of these children. But because of these bananas, these bananas that were sent out to Uganda, many children gained their eyesight back. This study makes it clear that GMOs have their benefits. They are good overall. Again, it's a, it's a valuable thing to have GMOs in place available for us, and that we should pursue ways to use GMOs in such a way that humans worldwide have a more consistent and healthy supply of all their need of vitamins. Another quote from Sherman, we have identified that sub-Saharan Africa is at risk of vitamin A deficiency and that a large, large proportion of their diet has been dedicated to bananas. It would therefore make sense to tackle this problem by introducing pro-vitamin A constituents into one of the people's main food sources. Again, there's a quote from Sherman, Harry Sherman. Since the population in Africa already consumed a large portion of bananas, it only makes sense to incorporate vitamin A into bananas by genetically modifying them to do so. The brains behind this task of creating these bananas are brilliant. Whether they are a Christian or not, this good deed reflects the image of God. These people who are working to make this possible care about the people in Africa. We can be grateful for the help that was provided to these children in Uganda. And this is a lesson that GMOs can be used for the good of humankind. Let us consider this lesson and allow for GMOs and promote GMOs that we might flourish as a people and care for our neighbors as we care for ourselves. GMOs are not only beneficial in certain areas of health, but also it can be cheaper too. In an article from uh, the World Health Organization there, 
uh, also known as WHO for short, we see some more benefits of GMOs. Genetically modified foods are developed and marketed because there is some perceived advantage either to the producer or consumer of these foods. This is meant to translate into a product with a lower price, greater benefit in terms of durability or nutritional value, or both. See, there's always an advantage when it comes to GMOs. The source who gives us reason to believe and understand that these genetically modified foods are cheaper and beneficial to the consumer. I mentioned this earlier in this presentation, but now we see a credible source recognizing that some foods, when genetically modified, last longer. The hope is to produce a product that lasts longer. This is what the article means when it refers to the durability of the food, and sometimes there's also a nutritional value, as we noted earlier, to GMOs. And now we see yet another source confirming the fact that GMOs help with nutrition rather than hindering or neglecting nutrition, as biased companies may want us to believe. I think the point is made clear that GMOs are cheaper, but this does not necessarily equate to unhealthy. Frequently it does, but this is not always the case. If you buy non-GMO foods, they will naturally cost more. But as I already said, something costing more will not always equate to it being healthier. GMOs are a more permanent fix for VAT than something like capsule supplements. Yes, supplements are a great term way, great short-term way to tackle this problem as has been happening for years, but it is not sustainable and does not have a significant effect. This is evident as East African populations are still presenting with VAD despite these, pro these programs. As the WHO puts it, the effect of vitamin A supplementation capsules lasts only four to six months. They are only initial steps towards ensuring better overall nutrition and not long-term solutions. The goal and desires are a continual supply of vitamin A, something that comes naturally from the food source. The reality is that when it comes to supplying our bodies with the vitamins necessary, the source of those vitamins should come from food rather than capsules. So again, you gotta rock the rice. It is better to eat bananas for potassium than it is to take potassium capsules. As humans, we thrive off food. We need food. In the case of the bananas in Uganda, it would be better for the children to eat bananas rather than consistently taking vitamin A capsules. Rather than there being capsules that people depend on, the hope is that the people in Africa might have an abundant supply of vitamin A. Now, we have considered the tragedies that Monsanto is responsible for. But now we recognize that we can't just throw the baby out with the bathwater. One corrupt company does not negate the benefits that GMOs have had on, an impo on impoverished countries. My hope was to show that GMOs are good overall. I hope we now see as a people how GMOs have helped with vitamin A deficiencies and have actually helped children who would otherwise be born blind or were born blind but have now received eyesight. Supplements are not a permanent solution to the VAD epidemic, but I believe GMOs are. As we recall, GMOs are also more cost effective. There is no evidence for GMOs bringing health problems to humans. We should promote the use of GMOs and hope for better health for people worldwide. I pray that you would consider this.